Good evening, class. Welcome to this um, tutorial for our CS300. My name is Dewin Andohar. I am your faculty member. And today, this is basically a, a simple tutorial on how you can set up your Visual Studio 2019 in your system. And also, this is something that you can do using the Virtual Lab uh, portal as well. But um, I'm just going to go through the basic um i would say process on how you can do this and to avoid all of these error messages you guys usually get when you are uploading your file and when you are uh, doing your first assignment you know assignment uh, in week number two so without further ado let's let's go into it uh, i'm just trying to make this video as short as possible so the first thing you got to do is you got to go into your you know snhu site so once you get there you're gonna go into your class, obviously, and then once you're in your class, you're gonna go into your uh, learning module. Once you go to your learning module, I'm gonna put my screen a little bit bigger, as I don't know if you can actually see it. You're gonna go into your week two, and then in your week two, there's a section here that says assignment vector, or ve uh, assignment vector sorting. You're gonna click on that, and then you're gonna go to the requirement and rubrics. It's, it's important that you follow the steps the way we have it. So when you go there and you're, and you're reading the entire overview, et cetera, you're gonna find this link here to download the file, okay? This is when the PDF files start work, start basically going on. But go over this and that's gonna make your life easier and you shouldn't have any problems. So let's click on that. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna zip this file. Here it is. And you know, I'm gonna find another place to look into it. So I'm gonna download it. I have my downloads here, but I'm gonna put on my desktop and I'm just gonna just select the folder and extract and or unzip the file. So I already have it here. So I'm gonna minimize this. I don't need this right now, but let me show you. So the folder is there. These are the file that you have. This is where I unzip the, the folder. Okay, just keep that in mind. So I'm gonna minimize this. Now the next step that you're gonna do is when you do that, it's okay, how do I start vis vis um, Visual Studio? Let's say you don't know anything about Visual Studio. This is like your first time, okay? And even if you have it already from your previous class, my recommendation is to do a fresh installation. That way you delete all this uh, dependency and start fresh. So the first thing you're gonna do for this, and I have the steps in here, you're gonna go to Google. Remember, Google, Google is gonna be one of your best friends. And then as a computer scientist, you know, you have to think out of the box. You have to go online, do research to do your assignments. So when you do that, I want you to type this, Visual Studio 2018 older versions. Why I say older, older versions? Because as you know, the latest version is 2022. I don't want you to download that right now. Just keep it the way it is until we update the course to the 2020, uh, to the 2022 or the latest version of Visual Studio coming up later. So you're gonna click, you're gonna click this link here that says Visual Studio older version. Once you click there, you're gonna see this page. Okay, so when you see this page, you're gonna click download. When you go to download, you're gonna you're gonna get in here. What is gonna happen is you're gonna be requested to kind of log in into your Microsoft account. If you have it, put your email, log in. And what you what I want you to do is to download Visual Studio community version 2019. Don't download the professional, don't download the enterprise because those are like kind of like pay version per se. It's it's gonna be a mess. So just stay with the community version so that has all the free, all the dependencies and everything that you're gonna need for your class. So once you click download, you might see something like this coming up. Like uh, this is a harm software, just do keep or allow, this is the antivirus is gonna tell you that this is something that is suspicious. So just do that. Once you do that, and then this is gonna come up or something like that, you don't have to worry about it. You do the installation process. So the installation process, basically, um, you just have to install the whole thing. And uh, let, me, um, let me just open another one so that I can show you. So, you open your Visual Studio, it's gonna load something like this, and this is where we're gonna start. 
So in your case, it's going to ask you probably to do some dependency or how you want to install, if you want to install different applications, just stay with C++ and then just do that. So once you open it up, this is when the week number two actually start. And this is how I want you to set up your application. That is the way I want you to, to set up your program. So you, are, you have different options you can do. But the first thing you got to do, and this is when the PDF style, you know, you have to start this. Create a new project. You got to click on create a new project. Now, some students, they, they actually go into the empty project, the first option here, or they just do what, you know, what I actually do. Uh, you can create an empty project, console, C++. You can click even the console app and then just go next. That's fine. And then you want to type your project name, right? So let's do vector setting. I'm going to put underscore, um, underscore new. Okay, so the way I have it. So I'm going to create that. When I create this, it's going to open Visual Studio. As you can see, this is my new Visual Studio. Now, one of the things that probably you don't see there is the Solution Explorer. How do you get a Solution Explorer? The Solution Explorer in your screen, you're going to go all the way up where you have the different tabs with the different options, and you're going to click on View. And when you click on View, there's an option that says Solution Explorer. Click on there, and you're going to see the Solution Explorer pops up, OK? So once you do that, the first thing, and this is where you're having a lot of problem, and please pay attention to this. I'm going to move the Solution Explorer to the side because my screen is there. So what you're going to do here, you're going to right-click the main project name. That's the one that says Vector Sorting New. Right-click on there. What we're doing is going into the source folder of this project. So you go all the way down where it says Open Folder in File Explorer. Click there. What this is doing now is it's going to open the main, the root folder for this project. If you see, this root folder here, it's completely it has only the, the files for the project I just created. It doesn't have a file for the project that I am zip. Follow this and be careful with this. What you got to do now is, do you remember when we unzip the file into my desktop? So I, I'm going to go into my desktop, which I already did. I already have my, my file. So I'm going to just go into my desktop right here, if you can see. Let me do something here. I'm going to put both screens. So right here on the left side, I have the file explorer manager open, which, which is the root folder of my project that I just created. On my right side, I have a file that I just unzipped from my course you know, module. So what you're going to do now here, you're going to copy everything. Just copy and paste it on the other side. So you're going to copy from the unzip file folder or unzip file to this uh, the uh, the project, you know, source folder. I want you to to get that because this is this is this is where the problem you know, you that's when the problem comes. So, after you do that, you can minimize all of these pages. And now what we're going to do is you're going to right click the main the main project file once again okay you're gonna click on that you're gonna right click and then you're gonna go down when it says add okay you're gonna go down where it says add when you go to add go in system item click on assistant item what is gonna happen now the system item is gonna open the root folder but if you can see now you can actually see the entire uh, files in there the ones that we created when we created the project first, and also the one that we copied. OK? So now what are we going to do here? We actually going to copy all of these files, all of this. We want it. We want extension. And I'm going to tell you what the extension is. So let me, let, me let me close this. Let me go back into, into Visual Studio. I want you to open the source file. And you can see that there is a file here, a CPP file called Vector Sorting New CPP. Go back again, do right click on the main uh, project uh, file or name, if you want to call it like that. 
at existing item and then what we're going to do is everything that we copy from the other side except the vector the vector setting um new we're not going to copy so remember what we want to bring into the the visual studio is only the file that we uploaded okay or that we unzip and that we copy let's bring all of that to visual studio so you can see the files are already there so the other thing that you want to do before you do anything remember that i told you that you need you need to copy the the the, the source code from the vector zone in cpp so let's open this the, the vector sort let me move it back so the vector source cpp file or, or code source or source code we going to remove to open that and we're going to copy everything and then we're going to open the vector sorting underscore new and we're going to delete everything in here and copy the new one what am i doing that because if i don't do that when the program is running it's not running the vector sorting that cpp it's running the vector sorting underscore new so therefore i need to have the source code from the my vector sorting project into the new file that i created so when I do that, right click in the main vector sorting folder on the top, and then we're gonna do clean. We're gonna clean everything. And you can see that on the bottom here on the screen set succeeded, there's no error. And then right click again in the main folder, and then we're gonna do rebuild. And then we're gonna rebuild this. Okay, now you're gonna see there's a whole bunch of error messages here. Okay, right now I have five warnings. I'm gonna tell you why we have those five five uh, warnings but what we're gonna do we're gonna delete that vector sorting that cpp not the new one we're gonna just right click on that and we're gonna remove it and then we're gonna remove it because we don't want no, we don't want nothing to do with this now why are you getting this partition um return return a value problem so just double click on it it's gonna take you where the problem is and the problem is that partition is not returning anything okay so the partition is not returning anything. So that's why you have that. So what you can do, you uncomment that comment right there and then return one. Just return one and then you can, you know, debug it. So just start debugging. And if you can see, the project is working. So I have my project here and that's, that's what you want to do. Let me see if he's loading the, the bits. And if you can see, it's actually loading the bits. So is re is re is is actually reading the CVS file. You might have a problem, but this is basically what you have to do to actually fix this issue. Otherwise, you you will you will drive yourself nuts, and you will not figure it out. So, if you have any comment, please let me know. Um, I hope you actually kind of under, understood this, and also you can understand why you having this little problem so let me know keep me posted I, I will continue trying to do some videos if it's possible of the next coming up assignments but uh think out of the box and remember to do some some googling it, it, it's allowed as long as you're doing it you know properly and you know you're not just copying things online and drop it out without knowing so send me an email if you have any question and or, or write me a comment okay have a good night thank you